Hey guys, happy Sunday. Well, I'm here at the office doing a little work, doing a little well, overtime, putting a little extra work in. But let me start off by saying this is a pet peeve of mine. Now, I have a reserved spot that I pay for. It's reserved. The assistant living coach. I come here this morning and somebody is in my spot. Now, mind you, there are 70 other spots out there. Nobody else is in the lot, except for that person in my spot that has my name on it. Somebody who's privileged. I don't wanna go deep into it, but you know what I mean. So in our building here, we have um, a professional office um, and I have reasons to believe that they're in that office because it's my spot and then their company name, they have a car in there and their lights on. So I let it slide the first time. This is the second time. So I went down, I rang the doorbell three times, they didn't answer. So I typed up a note, I put it on the windshield. Third time is a charm, if you know what I mean. So let me brush my shoulders off in regards to that. So let's talk about consideration um, and being consistent with it. So in this business of assistant living, you have to be considerate of A, your residence, considerate B, two, of the family members and considerate of your staff. Now, they may not always be considerate of you as the owner or as the manager, but you still have to make sure that you are still being considerate and you are doing things right in regards of being the professional or being the owner or being the manager. Um, I'm not always happy with how things are um, in regards to people not being considerate. Um, Sometimes I feel as though with staff, and this is the hardest part about the business, staff not being considerate, meaning if they don't feel like you're coming or if you're going to visit, the house may not be how you would normally expect it. Not saying that it's in an uproar or it's in a dis disarray, but I am very particular about the way I like my house to look. Okay, you should be able to eat off the floors at all times. The beds, I like to make them specifically to my eye. Make sure when you pull up the bedspread, you fold it down, prop the two pillows, and then put the accent pillows. That's how I like my beds made. I don't think that's too hard. Also, my accent chairs. The only thing that should be on my accent chairs are what? The accent pillow. That's it. No clothes, no nothing. Zero. The dressers. What should be on the dressers? Mm, probably only the frame that has um, bed one and bed two. Other than that, and the lamp, other than that, nothing else on the dresser or the nightstand, I should say. The dresser, TV, that's it. So I just feel like sometimes that your staff is not consider considering the way that I expect the house to look or be the way that it should look for the resident that has that room, right? I expect my staff to keep the room how they would keep their own bedroom. Let me rewind that back because they may not keep their bedroom the way that I would expect it to look. So you need to keep the bedroom looking the way that I would expect it to look and the way that the resident would expect it to look when they are going into their bedroom. So today, like I said, it's all about being considerate. It's all about consideration and it's all about being consistent about what it is that you're doing. So real quick, I just want to say also make sure that you don't forget our next Assistant Living 101 class, which will be on Saturday, May 22nd at 11 a.m. And listen, this is not only for the DMV, this is for the whole US of A. If you're interested in starting an assistant living business or you're interested in hearing about it, it's only two and a half hours. You can uh, log in via Zoom from the comfort of your own home. You can come into the training center, which is located in Owings Mills, Maryland. And guess what? The cost is only $55. Again, $55. That's it. Go to www.theassistedlivingcoachacademy. Grab your seat today. Hope to see you there. Again, May 22nd, Saturday at 11 a.m. It's only two and a half hours long, and it's only $55. Happy Sunday. Have a great day. Make sure you, you're consistent. Make sure that you're considerate, and have a great rest of your Sunday. I'll talk to you soon.